The way you end scenes and chapters in your book is really important because it's what keeps the reader from being able to put your book down. Every scene needs to answer a question or provide the reader with an important new piece of information. And at the end of every scene or chapter, you want to pose some sort of a new question. Maybe it's not a, you don't pose the question outright, but it's implied, or we have a protagonist who is on the hunt or about to do something and we need to turn the page to find out what that is. Is she gonna kiss the boy? Is the princess gonna slay the dragon? Is the detective gonna find the clue he's looking for? We don't want that to be at the end of the chapter. We want that to be at the beginning of the next one, so we have to turn the page. Thriller writers are masters at this, also mystery writers. If you read Dean Coons, James Patterson, even if you just flip to the end of every chapter and read the last two sentences, you'll see how effectively they do that and they make it impossible for us to put the book down. It's kind of the effect where you think, I'm just going to read one more chapter and then I'm going to go to sleep. And then three hours later, you're still awake and you've read the whole book.